What is going on guys and today I'm bringing you how to trade with 10,000 coins and you guys are going to make an absolute ton with these methods so make sure to drop a like down below and of course subscribe we are doing a 12,000 FIFA point giveaway all you got to do to enter is follow me on Twitch, Twitter, Instagram of course subscribe here on YouTube and if you send me a screenshot proving that you'll be entered into the giveaway so make sure to get your entries in we will be announcing the winner at the end of the month but without further ado let's get into it so guys many of you may not have seen the video from yesterday but if you are working on a budget if you want to get to the 10k coins that we're using for these methods all you want to do is these three players here if you check out my video on them yesterday really really solid i'd give a special shout out to unkudu because i picked up i think if we can see here Oh, it doesn't say what I bought them for. I managed to get one of them for 700 coins, uh, one for 900, a couple like three or 400 coins under, which really does boost your profit pretty quickly. Now, as you can see, I'm still getting used to the new system. Not a huge fan of it uh, personally, but it is what it is. Now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna pick three players at 3K per player for 10K, because if you've got 10K, that means you can be picking up like three players at once, selling them all for profit, and then go again. Obviously, it's difficult if you put all your coins into methods and say you're going for 10K players, you get one player and that's all your coins got. So we're gonna go for around two to 3K, and we're just gonna have a look to see what kind of ballpark players. Lala looks, okay, Lala's way under. Uh, it might be worth pushing the, the, the this a little bit up. So if we go for maybe 2.5 to 3.5, uh, and then let's have a look. So we've got uh, Urzil's probably not a bad one, actually. Urzil and Oyarzabal. Yeah, we're gonna. Yeah, I reckon that's probably how you pronounce it. So we'll add these two to our transfer list uh, as they're the first two picks. Who else do we have that might be interesting? We've got Perisic there. Akone, I believe it's Akone. Is that? Let's have a look. Okay, so we're gonna go for those three. Um, and you can see, okay, so we've, we've lost Icone, but we'll go back and I'll just search for him first. So you can see kind of how simple it is at the minute to just do some sniping, because we don't really have a lot of SPCs out. There's not a lot to work with. So it is just a simple thing of finding a player uh, and going with your budget and then going around that. So you can see he's around 3K. So we're just gonna see how much exactly he's going for. It might be dead on three. It does look, that's quite convenient for us. So we're gonna say we're gonna sell him on for free. 10% of that is obviously 300 coins and you half that, that's EA tax. So we've got 150 for tax. So the minimum for profit is 2,800. Now we don't want just 50 coins. So if we pick him up at 2.7, we're guaranteed a profit of 150 coins. Now I know that's not massive, but that's like the minimum. Obviously we can pick him up for 500 coins. Well, no, 600, 700 sort of thing. And we will make a much bigger profit. So we're just gonna snipe him, see how long it takes. Hopefully it doesn't take too long. I'm recording this at half 12, so I don't know how active the market is gonna be. It might not be as active as in the day. I'm recording it pre-hand because I know I'm busy on Friday. We've got a 2.7 there. Not awful at all, it's a decent profit. Obviously it's just the, it is as I said, the minimum profit. So we're gonna knock that one up quite quickly. Hopefully he sells on pretty fast. And then what we're gonna do is go for the next one. I'm gonna knock it down a little bit just so hopefully, oh, we've got 2.6 there. Oh, we missed it. We have missed it, but you can see the card is coming up. Enough for us to go back to back with snipes, but sadly, I'm a bit rusty. 2K there, and we've got it. There you go. So that is a very nice profit there of, in my head, 850 coins. So very quickly, I mean, if you're going for going from 10K to 100K, that's 1% of the way there. Um, and I know it sounds small, but you, when, when you're starting a new FIFA, that's quite a big leap from... You know, when you having 10K coins, you've just made a K profit. Very, very decent. Um, and, you know, we're 11% of the way there to our 100K. Now, obviously, I'm not gonna get to 100K in this video. The chances are by the next video, I will be at that from using web app. Obviously, as much as I'd love to sit here, do an hour and kind of speed it up and stuff and show you me getting to 100K with these specific methods, I would use up all of my EA access. And I do wanna be making videos for you guys for the next week or so. And we've got another one at 1.8. Wow. 
This guy is a very, very nice snipe. That's another 1k. So we got 2% of that, that 100k very, very quickly. And I know that doesn't sound big, guys, but it's so easy. And all these methods you can do on the web app, of course, it is a little bit harder to snipe on the web app. You are going to be competing with console players like myself on a controller and that is always going to be a difficulty it's quite weird because every other game in the world pc is like the the go-to and you're going to do better on pc but on fifa it's obviously just not that we've got another brilliant snipe there now what i want you guys to bear in mind when you are doing these methods i obviously have about four thousand subscribers we're going to say that maybe a thousand people might see the video now that doesn't necessarily mean the method's unusable it won't be as good as if you know sort of right now when i'm doing it on mine without any of you guys knowing it's obviously going to be a little bit better now what you can do is pick the players up that i've used because i know some of some of you guys don't really like to find them to yourself or struggle which is completely understandable because i do this for videos sort of every day and um, so if you need to copy the players i've done more than welcome to you'll you'll have a, maybe a tiny bit more difficulty than me but it's not going to be too hard the only thing i would say is if you can't find any just try and look for players around this ballpark i've showed you guys how i found them myself and if you do the similar method you will easily find them too so we've got oyarizable who i am struggling to pronounce so if i'm butchering that and you're spanish correct me in the comments um and let me know that i am i'm trash at speaking because I, I am. Uh, we've got 3.1 for this guy. So 3,100 coins, EA tax on that is gonna be 155 coins. So not too different from what we had before. So for minimum profit, we need to go for 2.9. Obviously we want 2.8 because we don't want minimum profit. Obviously like 50 coins is stupid. So we obviously won't want the minimum to be at least 100 coins. We're gonna hope that we've got the same situation as with the Icone guy because he's literally we've just picked up like three or four of him at silly prices to be honest so it's always good to see that people are still not too clued up on the market so this is like prime time to be picking up snipes of people because no one really knows what they're doing like as a as a fifa youtuber uh, if i can call myself that um i'm not buying my team for like a week like until the actual game out game is out i'm only using this trial for videos because i don't see why you buy your team right now my brother has somehow packed already an insane team uh, so he's sitting on a very good team at the minute i'm only i mean i've used 900 fifa points literally just to get a few players so i have a team to play with when the game comes out but i won't be buying anyone for some sort of like road to glory or any sort of system where i'm trying to uh use a specific team until the game is sort of well out uh, and, and been out for at least a week so that the players just are at a more level price and maybe i can pack some more stuff as well we don't want to just be sort of fishing in the dark it does seem that oyarizable uh, may not be as profitable as icone but what we've got to do from that is you know we'll give it another minute if we can't find any, we're going to move on to Ozil. Because when you get like this, guys, with trading, it doesn't mean that he's not necessarily a good player. All it means is that right now, he's not being packed. And that might be because people aren't opening packs. It might be because it's late. There's a ton of reasons it could be. But rather than dwell on it, we just want to move on to the next one. If anything, guys, I'd probably say definitely try him. Because it's more likely that in the day, he's probably going to get packed a little more. As I said, guys, I'm on at a weird time. So you've always got to bear in mind, like, usually my videos, I'll be recording them and putting them up straight away. This one, a little bit different to that. And we've also found that Urzil is a bit of an imposter there, but we've got a nice 1k snipe on him there. So that's quite nice. If we sell that one for 1.4, um, that would be a decent profit. Hopefully he goes for a tad more than that at least. Let's have a look. So we got the 1.3 here. Uh, we got another, is that another 1k? It's surely not another 1k. So he's going for 1.5. So we've missed out on 100 coins profit there. We can deal with that. Uh, for, mid, for 125 coins profit, you want to snipe him at 1.3k, as the EA tax on 1.5 is 75. So I've gone through three players. There are slightly different prices, obviously Urzil being the cheapest, but 1.5k isn't too much, especially when we're just trying to make some decent profits. You want to go through all players, give everyone a try. You don't want to, I know a lot of people will be like, oh, well, I've got 10k, so I want to use 10k. Like a lot, I, I remember when, uh, I was bringing out vids last year at the end of the year people are going oh well I've got a million coins where's the a million coin players 
if you've got a mill, you don't invest a mill into trading. What you invest in like 500k. So bear that in mind. You want you don't want to bet. You don't want to invest all your coins because then what you're going to have to play about with, or if a steal comes up on the market, you ain't going to be able to buy it. I remember. I think I found like an icon, and it was like 300k under what it was worth. And I just bought Team of the Year Messi after I packed Eusebio, and I was gutted because I, if I sell him, I'm at a loss. And if I buy the and like if I don't buy the icon, I'm missing out on a massive snipe. So. L's will be taken if you do use all your coins guys, you don't want to do that. Oh, nice little 1k again there and that is how we're going to finish off this video. I hope you guys have enjoyed. These are very, very simple methods. It can be duplicated very easy. I'm going to be bringing out methods every day. So if you do miss this one, or by the time that you've seen this one, it's not working as well anymore, there will be a ton out. I hope you guys have enjoyed and I'll see you guys tomorrow.